good morning dear students welcome to first session of science class so today we'll start with the chapter force and pressure so let's begin so this is chapter number 11 of your ncert textbook and this chapter belongs to your physics portion so force what is force force is a push or a pull so when we push or pull something that means we are applying force living and non living things can apply force so both living as well as non living things can apply force we know living things can apply force but non living things can also apply force for example earth earth applies gravitational force similarly magnets magnets apply magnetic force so we can say both living and non living things can apply force now examples of force so kicking a football picking a book etc are the examples of force now what is a push and what is a pull a push is a force exerted away from the body so when a force is exerted away from the body then it is called a push similarly a pull is a force exerted towards the body so when a force is a force is exerted towards the body then it is called a pull our next topic is magnitude of force so the measurement of strength and amount of force is called magnitude of force the international unit used to measure force is newton so we measure force in newton so if i say a force of 3 newton is applied on an object so that means the magnitude of force is 3 newton so this is about magnitude of force our next topic is direction of force so two or more forces can act on an object in the same direction or in the opposite direction so at the same time two or more forces can act on an object and the direction of two forces can be same or the direction can be opposite also so let's discuss the first case when two forces are applied over an object in the same direction so what happens when two forces are applied on an object in the same direction so when two forces are applied in the same direction then the total or net force is the addition of magnitude of both the forces so when two forces are applied in the same direction then the net force or the resultant force is the addition of magnitude of both the forces for example when two persons push the box in the same direction with the magnitude of force of 2 newton each then the resultant force will be 4 newton because the resultant force will be the addition of the magnitude of both the forces so therefore net force will be the sum of two forces so the answer will, will be 4 newton so the net force will be 4 newton as you can see in this picture a force of 25 newton and a force of 20 newton are applied in the same direction so the net force will be the addition of both the forces so the net force will be 45 newton so when the two forces are applied in the same direction then the net force will be the addition of magnitude of both the forces now let's discuss case 2 when two forces are applied over an object in the opposite direction so when two forces are applied over an object in the opposite directions the total effective or net force is the difference of magnitude of two forces so in this case the resultant force or the net force is the difference of magnitude of both the forces for example when two persons push the box in the opposite direction with a magnitude of force of 2 newton each then the resultant force will be 0 newton so in this case the net force will be the difference of two forces so the net force comes out to be 0 newton as you can see in this picture a force of 10 newton and a force of 12 newton are applied on an object and the direction of both the forces are opposite so the net force will be the difference of two forces so the net force comes out to be 2 newton and in this case the object will displace in the direction where the magnitude of force is greater so i hope you have understood what happens when two forces are applied in the opposite directions now our next topic is effects of force so 
force has following effects on an object so if so if if force acts on an object it can have following effects so first effect is force can make a stationary object move or make moving object move faster second force can slow down or complete completely stop a moving object third force can change the direction of a moving object and the fourth one is force can change the shape or size of an object so let's discuss the first effect of force that is force can make a stationary object move or make moving object move faster when we kick off stationary football it starts to move this shows that force can make a stationary object move so when we kick a stationary football that means we are we are applying force on that football so foot, football starts to move so this shows that force can make a stationary object move if a football is already moving and we kick it with great strength in the direction in which it is moving then the football will move with a greater speed this shows that force can make a moving object move faster so if a ball is already moving and we kick it then it starts to move with a greater speed so this shows that force can make a moving object move faster so this is about the first effect of force now the second effect of force that is force can slow down or completely stop a moving object so a bicycle can be stopped or slowed down by applying brakes in a football match the force applied by the goalkeeper stops the ball hit towards the goal so goalkeeper applies force on the moving football in order to stop it so thus we can say that force can slow down or completely stop a moving object so by applying force we can slow down or we can completely stop a moving object now the third effect of force is force can change the direction of a moving object so in a cricket match when a moving ball is hit by the batsman then the direction of cricket ball changes and it goes in another direction the force exerted by the batsman changes the direction of the moving ball so when batsman hits the ball the direction of the ball changes this shows that a, a force can make a uh, a force can change the direction of a moving object so therefore we can say that force can change the direction of a moving object so this is about the third effect of force that is force can change the direction of a moving object now the fourth effect of force force can change the shape or size of an object so while making chapatis we change the shape and size of the dough by applying force with our hands so while making chapati uh, we change the shape and size of the dough by applying force so so uh, by applying force we can ch ch change the shape and size of an object the shape and size of a rubber band changes when it is pulled so when we pull a rubber band it shape and size changes therefore we can say that force can change the shape or size of an object so therefore we can say that uh, uh, force can change the uh, shape and size of an object so this is about the fourth effect of force so this finishes our first session i hope you must have understood so thank you for watching